this is a, a lesson based on James Taylor's Little Wheel lesson. Um, that's a really cool lesson, but it's geared, I think, towards a more advanced finger picker, advanced guitar player. If you're new to JT style or relatively new to finger picking, I've created this lesson for you um, because that lesson's really dense. Just that little wheel lesson alone could be dissected and discussed for days. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is talk about it in real basic terms. So if you're an advanced player, this may be a little redundant for you. But if you're scratching your head going, geez, I'll never be able to figure out all that stuff in little wheel, this is for you. So there's two basic pieces to this uh, little wheel lesson number one. Uh, there's an A, uh, excuse me, an E minor 9 chord. And so you want to be able to get that under your fingers before you do anything. And then as far as the picking pattern, it's going to be, uh, oh, let's talk about the left hand. So you're going to put your index finger on the third fret second string, and then your middle finger on the fourth string fourth fret. And then as far as the right hand, you're going to, you're going to pick sixth string, fourth string, third string, and then the second string. And I'm using four fingers to do that. Thumb, first, second, third finger, ring finger. Okay. Then the figure repeats, only this time it's six, four, three, first string, which is open. So the whole thing is going to be six, four, three, two, six, four, three, one. And those numbers are referring to string numbers. Six, four, three, two, six, four, three, one. And just do that over and over again until it's nice and smooth. Okay. The second piece of Little Wheel is the A major chord, which James plays a little differently than you are you and me. I think most of us do it like this, with three fingers stacked on top of each other, first, second, third finger, like that. Or maybe you do it like this. Uh, JT does it like this. He's got first finger on the third string, second fret, middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and the ring finger on the second string, second fret. It sounds the same. He just fingers it differently so that he can move bass notes around. Uh, which I'm about to demonstrate. So the second piece uh, goes like this. Open fifth string, pluck the second string, then take your middle finger off of the fourth string and move it to the sixth string, second fret. Then pluck the third string, and then move the middle finger again, this time to the fifth string, second fret, and then pluck the open fourth string. So once again, fifth, second string, move your middle thing, finger to the sixth string, pluck it, pluck the third string, move your middle finger to the fifth string, second fret, and then pluck the open fourth string. So just like you did with the E minor and nine, you want to play this little piece over and over again until it's flowing smoothly. Start real slow. Even slower. And up to speed it would be something like this. So let's put the two things together uh, really slowly. Two, three, and four, and... Up to speed it would be like this.
Hope that helps.